we're going to rewind a little bit when she didn't have a lot. And, uh, you know, her husband, Zubair, was struggling and they had this horse. At that time in her life, she did a lot. She, was the, she would go out early and get water for the horse, feed the horse, bring it fodder. She would walk it. She would go and get um, date uh, seeds and they, they, would, they would at that time crush it. And it was a, pretty, a very labor-intensive life. And um, at one point, she had to walk about two miles to do this process of crushing these date stones. And then they would carry these massive things on their head. So I, again, try to visualize this. She's walking two miles, exhausted. She's been laboring all day, just trying to make it survive. And who comes and crosses her path? None other than the beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is his sister-in-law. So, you know, sometimes and this is, again, something that we should just really appreciate that is lost, unfortunately, today in the nonverbal communication that can sometimes be really powerful. Not everything always has to be said. Sometimes the states and the hearts are communicating. So the Prophet Sallallahu sees his sister-in-law in this state. Without a single word, he stops his camel and orders the camel to kneel. And then he's, he makes a sound. Ikh, ikh, or ikh, ikh, something to that effect, which was an indication to her, like, come on, I got you. Sit, sit on the camel. I'm going to take you the rest of the way. He had this compassion for his sister-in-law, seeing her in this state. But subhanAllah, now I want you to see what she does. This is, again, emotional intelligence of a wife and a woman who is using her intellect to assess the situation. There's all these men here. The Prophet is here. I could really use a ride, right? But my husband is jealous. I, I can't do it. Without words, without any words, what does she do? She just stands there. And the Prophet said again, he knows the hearts. No communication. They just understood each other. He understood that her shyness meant she wasn't going to get on, and he just proceeded forward. And she went home, rushed home to tell her husband about this whole incident, what happened, because she wanted to be transparent. We, and we have to, again, apply this in the modern context. A lot of things are happening in spaces, private, in marriages, and lives all over the place. And everybody's all about privacy now. Give me a break. You're married? Transparency. You should have, you know, access to, to one another's, you know, whatever is, is public, right? But this idea that, no, I can do my own thing and I don't have to share. So just let's learn from her. She wanted to, again, show her husband that I honored you in your absence. So she tells him what happened. And his response is also really beautiful because it just gives us insight that they actually cared about one another. And it wasn't this whole, you know, power game all the time. Like, I want this and I want that. They weren't about that. They were about the hearts. So he told her, he said, by Allah, you're carrying the date stones and you being seen by the Prophet said, I'm, on, with that, you know, with it on your head in such a state is more shameful to me than you uh, having taken a ride with him. So he's letting her know, like, I'm pained that you were in this, that I've put you in this situation. I don't care about that. But they were so considerate of one another's feelings. So we have to think about that in the context of, you know, who are we, um, are we, you know, again, not sharing certain things with our spouses or are we taking these positions that are not really thoughtful about one another's feelings? And this applies to the brothers too. I hope they're watching this at, or will watch it at some point. But, you know, if your wife asks you not to uh, socialize with certain people, it's respect that you honor that request and vice versa. And I think we just have to, you know, uh, take, take that, uh, you know, nasiha from this. But she prioritized her husband's feelings in that incident.